outweigh those of bagging. So we'll probably see four run. But, you know, some teams, you know, they may opt to stay in eighth, but just drive with the pack. That's something we've seen plenty of teams do before here. So we'll see what we uh, each team opts to do. As again, we are watching Carlos's POV for this matchup. Yeah, getting into it. First place shroom for Carlos. He honestly, the shroom spot on this track is that dirt patch he just passed, but opting to hold the shroom. He could use it next lap, but a little bit risky. Although second place did not take the box, which is important to note. Okay, he'll shroom on the corner, get his protection out uh, in case of any snipes uh, coming out from El Salvador, but. Yeah, he looks very solid right now, especially if he gets another protection. Yeah, double protection here for him. And he is safe as long as El Salvador doesn't go up for that box in uh, this last set. And I would advise him not to, since he is being followed by a bunch of Ecuador members who will overtake him. Yeah, he's going to opt not to. Carlos failing a little bit on that last turn, but he will end up taking the win anyway. Is 1-3-4 a great start for Ecuador. Yeah, that track in particular is more of a runner track. So we saw there just Carlos being able to run so effectively and so well there. And, and it was a good job from Carlos pulling the double defense when he needed it. Um, wait, um, actually using his shroom to get double defense in the first place was such a big play for Carlos on his own. And it made them have a really good race. So good job from Carlos. Carlos in particular from running, but the rest of that um, Ecuadorian squad for be, be able to keep their spots and really hold their spots. And uh, yeah, good job from them. Yeah, great stuff. One thing I do want to point out, actually, is this lineup for El Salvador is actually pretty different from the one I was just talking about. It seems they have some subs coming in for this match. Carlitos not playing, I think, is the biggest thing there. I saw Tanuki and, and Manuel uh, playing instead. Um, now those two players I've, um, heard of, I believe Tanuki being in TRT, uh, one of the main Spanish clans in the game and, and Manuel playing, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but playing in those middle divisions. So they definitely have experience, plenty of clan war experience. I think, um, however, I do think Carlito's not playing is a pretty, um, pretty significant detriment but we'll have to see how especially considering his overall skill but also he is the team captain not being in the lineup so we'll have to see how el salvador can respond um you know once you know they already took uh one losing race but we'll have to see how they can respond um without carlitos in the lineup but regardless moving on to Choco Island 1R, and already great stuff. Carly, Carlos taking that NISC uh, on the very first turn. And Clever, it looks like, as well. So top two, four even right now. Oh, that's a nice green coming up from El Salvador. I was going to take Clever out, but that that's actually a really nice green because there are no more item sets before this NISC. So he'll have to NISC it. He can't shroom. So he'll probably lose more positions even to people shrooming up. Carlos going to opt to take the NISC in first place, as he should. 2-3-4, all being El Salvador. Yeah, as I suspected, all of them having shrooms to take that cut. One protection left. He's going to um, have to hope that El Salvador do not pull double reds on this last set. But they are 2-3-4, so the pressure is high. Yeah, he'll get double protection. That's huge. I think that might probably just saved um ecuador's race there as they're gonna probably end up being in top two here which is uh a solid solid race a one three mm, six one, three. i think that's is that is that is that a winning race or one three one that... three six eight would be winning yeah yeah that's um solid not too bad not too bad yeah i was looking a little dire um going into that last set but i believe that's cl maybe clever no it was uh oh his name is so tiny i can't really read it is that hyper rio or is that or did they make a sub i think it's hyper rio so him taking third that was uh huge for them that got them the winning race 
I, th- I believe two, three, four, even if it's an eighth place, is winning. So uh, that was a nice shroom there for him to pull. And yeah, good. Res- uh, despite the winning race for Ecuador, El Salvador, you know, they had the right idea. Um, getting that green off on Clever was huge. And then um, taking that two, three, four, it was looking really nice. They just didn't have denial for that shroom on the last turn. Um, because really, other than that first, the very first turn with that very giant shortcut, the last turn is really your only shroom spot. So it's very easy to counter if you have the items for it. But unfortunately, El Salvador didn't have that um, to take out Hyper Rider there. So moving on to Royal Raceway T. Uh, looks like a little bit of a freeze. Oh, okay, we're back. So this track is the classic bagging track. It's one of the best bagging tracks in the game. Many sets and also very long. So you almost always see a shock on this track. Um, and we'll see how players can play around that. There is no respawn. A oh, little bit of a nano snipe there for or maybe it was a back i couldn't quite tell but hitting carlos there he could go for a snipe off of this ramp here and try and hit out this player before he can use his heart yeah he'll go for it not quite falling a little bit short but top two four right now for el salvador but ecuador being in last could be a detriment holding this heart in second is a little bit risky but as long as carlos is it doesn't matter, but he'll pull out the red when he's not expecting it. That's a great red for Carlos there. And now two members of Ecuador up here with reds to pressure first. One red disappears. Yeah, Carlos might want to drop. Okay, he couldn't quite drop. And now first place has protection. So a little bit of miscommunication there. I think that could have been communicated uh, in order to get both reds thrown at first place before he could get protection again. But Carlos could shroom up at the very end and steal first. Two shrooms even. Yeah, he should be getting first here. That bomb is a little bit scary. Yeah, I think he'll get first. Great plays there with the mushrooms from Carlos. Top two even as Hyper Ryo shrooms up. Great stuff. Yeah, just a solid, really solid race for um, Ecuador there. They were just in the top, and they basically just, like, had the opportunity to just keep that top two, especially on Royal. So good job from Ecuador just to get that top two there and uh, extend their win a little bit. So good job, just in general. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to reset the stream um it should just be a break for a few seconds oh no oh, maybe not i'm a little bit confused what's happening here oh i see okay so uh our discord stream that we're watching is a little bit delayed so we'll get that back up so i think there was some delay on our end so we're apologizing for that should be all good now and Going into this next race, El Salvador, or sorry, Ecuador, this lead is just slowly getting bigger and bigger for them. Plus, what is that? Plus 13 after three for Ecuador. So these small winning races, again, we've seen wars like this before. Small winning races each time, but they add up over a period of time. And El Salvador, they're going to have to break this streak or it's just going to continue for Ecuador here. Yeah, they're going to have to make something back up right now, um, as you said. And they're going to they're gonna have to get their strategy up because I think what the problem is is none of these, none of these guys are getting shock. And I think shock is really important. And um, I think it might cost them in the end. That's just what I think personally. So. Yeah, El Salvador hasn't been in last, but we do see him in last right now, actually winning this bagging battle this time. So we'll see. They're crossing a set right now. He could have gotten that. Uh, or wait, I'm not sure if the box is a little earlier on this version. I can't quite remember. But either way, at this point, he's definitely crossed a box in eighth. So he may have pulled that El Salvador bagger may have pulled it at this point. 
Uh, right now, Carlos sitting pretty in first with a red shell. Uh, it's going to be taken away, but yeah, we'll have to see if this uh, seven remembers the second red. Doesn't look like it. Actually, Ecuador uh, having support now in top two. So Carlos, again, looking to just run this with no issues. We've seen this great running from Carlos so many races so far. It looks like he's going to pull it off again. As he does, uh, yeah, looking at the minimap, he has a bit of a break, so he will definitely get this first. Great running from Carlos. He seems to be just running away with all of these races. El Salvador, they're going to need blue shells. They're going to need shocks. They're going to need something to stop him. Yeah, definitely. And uh, that top two, again, they just keep getting in the top two. And El Salvador is just not getting shocks. And I think I keep on saying this. During my recent cast, I've kept on saying how shock is really important to actually win the war. And I'm going to keep on saying it because it, it, it is really important. And El Salvador not going for it and not really getting it, it's not, it's not so good at the moment. So that's just my concern with that. Yeah, very unfortunate. As again, I think that's the first race where El Salvador was convincingly winning that bagging battle. So I have to see if he can do it again. And um, he can do it again and can pull the shock in these upcoming races. They are going to need it. The lead is now 20 points in favor of Ecuador. Another... Um, that was, I think that was their best race so far, actually, but it's starting to add up, like I mentioned. Plus 13, turning into plus 20 now. It's starting to look dire. Can El Salvador make a response on Paris Promenade? It looks like the reverse version. I wasn't quite looking, but yeah. Um, yeah, this will be the reverse version, and... Without the glider respawn, I don't believe this is T. I could be wrong. Didn't catch the track. We'll have to see when we go around this first turn here. Yeah, it's just R. So very strong running track. Uh, El Salvador going to try and get up there early, but that okay. That green doesn't connect, but he will take a trail. Carlos will take a trail. Top two right now for El Salvador. This is a good start. Good start That's for them. Definitely. It looks like second has protection too, so this is really good so far. Yeah, and definitely. And um, top bomb. two is just so ah, it's so big early on, but I don't know if they're going to be able to keep it. That's the mm. real issue here. This mega could connect in the air. Not quite, but he will take second and with a heart. Yeah, he will be invincible for quite a while if El Salvador doesn't have a response. This uh, is that a side? Ooh, not quite a side red. Now he is unprotected. He should opt to drop out, but I don't think he will. Yeah, Carlos is just going to spam reds if he gets them. Unless, okay, so second place drops out now, but that leaves Carlos with two reds in first. This is going to be super hard to break, especially with third place being uh, Ecuador member. But shock coming in. That is an El Salvador shock. But will it be too late, as Carlos has already reached this glider? I don't think there's enough time. Yeah, he'll just glide straight to the end. And yeah, yeah. that shock. El Salvador finally getting one, but it's not impactful. No spots really changed, and that's still a winning race for Ecuador. Yeah, like, Ecuador has just been so strong throughout this entire war. And I just... They've just been so, so strong, and and there has been no response, right? There has been no response from El Salvador. And if they – I don't personally know if they're going to win now because of the fact that Ecuador has just been so dominant. They have really shown why they're here and how they're doing so well, and they've just put on a show for us. And good job from Ecuador, just in general, really. Yeah, I do want to point out, Carlos is on a perfect score. I believe that's 50 points after five races. Can he keep this up? This is, the, like, he, this man, if El Salvador wants to win, this man needs to be stopped, and he needs to be stopped right now. 50 after five, so impressive. He, 
Ecuador or El Salvador needs a response and they need it now. Going into Armex Rainbow 2 R. Very strong running track again. These tracks are really favoring Ecuador right now, and especially Carlos, as they're very run oriented. Not too many um you know, shorter luck tracks we've seen so far. And El Salvador, they're going to have to hope for tracks like that if they want to have a realistic chance. But it is possible. It's Carlos starting in fourth. And I believe that's at least one El Salvador member starting in front of him. Although this might be a general DC. Yeah, it definitely very much could be. For yeah, those who like don't know, um, yeah, long startups usually cause DC, which is really unfortunate because of the fact that, you know, we want to see as much racing as possible for DCs to happen. They happen. It's just unfortunate to see. So hopefully it will get back uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, DCs, you know, can happen for all sorts of reasons. Um, th I think the main difference from other games is that when you DC on Market Wii or Market Egg Deluxe, it's usually because there's something up with your internet. Um, but with Market Tour, you are playing on your phone or your iPad or whatever you're playing on. And sometimes it can overheat. It can just close out your app. Um, so all those things can cause rooms to just uh, crash like that. Um, if, you're, if they happen between um, the... the beginning of the race screen that displays all the players and that countdown so all sorts of reasons for that but yeah just the struggles of playing with a phone as opposed to a console um but at the very least nintendo makes it super nice to rejoin rooms it takes very little time it's probably faster than any other mario kart as all you have to do is type in that eight digit code um and you are back in the room. And I, I honestly, I hope we keep stuff like that for future games. It just makes it so much more convenient. And it's a very fast process if someone disconnects. Um, not only that, but I'm not sure if we've gone more in depth into these, um, like on, if online play specifically for my Kart Tour, but. Um, the room settings as well, as you have been seeing for all of these matches in Mario Kart Tour, we have been playing with team mode on, which is not something you see in other Mario Karts. But the reason we are able to do that is because there is that friendly fire option, which I hope we continue to see in future Mario Karts. It's a great feature, makes it so much more convenient to spectate matches and also to keep scores and stuff. It's very nice. Yeah, I really like that as well. It's just so... It just makes playing the game so much easier for people, and especially for Clan Wars, as we see. It's just so much easier to, right, for having that friendly fire on. It just makes it, as you said, so much easier. And definitely, I agree, definitely put in the next Mario Kart uh, games because of the fact that it's just, it's just a good feature to have in general, just for competitive play. Unfortunately, at this rate, we won't be seeing that next Mario Kart until 2025 or something similar. So, unfortunately, that will only come in the distant future as after this last Nintendo Direct. I think many people have given up hope, but, you know, you never know. It could come in, you know, a random Direct at some point. But, yeah, anyone else disappointed by that? Uh, definitely let us know in chat because I certainly am. But anyways, going back into this match, we are seeing Carlos start again in these front positions with the shroom in first right off the bat, looking just so great in these top positions. Second place is El Salvador. They could just run him out right here. No, it looks like he will continue on with this protection in pocket. Honestly, if I were Carlos, I would just hold the shroom and just recover if he gets redded. It's very likely he will at this point, but unless he drops out. No, actually, this player. Oh, he gets. Yeah, he connected that snipe. That's a great snipe onto N Manuel and top two breaking away even more for Ecuador. They they need this response right now. And there's a shock. I think. Yeah, I think that's Salvador. El Salvador, actually. 
Yeah, there comes the two one. Dodgers. This this is a great start. This is what they need right now. Top three going to the last set. Doc is so important and just over. Oh, but Carlos That's pulling a, star a true star. star. Yeah, he, he might will power win up this into. Though. Well, he does not. I think he what might he get. Gets... No, he gets third. No, he'll get third. But still, top two four for El Salvador. That's the start they need. To make this comeback, that's a great race for them. Great shock. This, the, yeah, this is exactly what they needed. Great stuff from them. We'll have to see if they can follow it up in future races. But that, uh, you know, very textbook shock. Getting all play. It was maybe it was a little too early as it got um, Ecuador players into that first second set. Sorry, second set. Um, but when you're dodging so many players, I think all three El Salvador players dodged, actually. When that many players are dodging, it's negligible, as you're getting at least first place with the shock like that. So great stuff there. Yeah, I'm going to keep on saying this. Shock is so important, and it helped El Salvador a lot, and now they're only down by 12. So, I mean, what can I say? Shock really saved them, and... uh this is going to be another big race for El Salvador here in, uh, in a must-win situation. They need to be able to make, uh, use this race as like a big race and able to come back. Maybe another shock, maybe something else, but they just need something big here. And I think, I think on this track in particular, it m could be a little bit more difficult. So te both teams have to keep that in mind, I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. If El Salvador can follow up with a strong race here, shift that momentum in their favor, that is going to be great for their remaining matches. And as many people in the chat are um, expressing, that is the end of Carlos' perfect streak. However, he still has a chance to break 100, even 110. Um, so if players are looking for, out for that, that is still possible, but we'll have to see. I think, did that snipe connect? I couldn't quite tell. Uh, I don't think it did. That looked pretty close, though, on Carlos' screen. So good effort. Holding this mega for the second lap. Does that bomb? Mm, that doesn't quite connect. And I think he takes a side red. I think that was from his uh, teammate, unfortunately. So he'll be forced to use this mega early. But 135 right now. 134 even for Ecuador. If Shock's in play, they're going to need to use it like right now. Uh, El Salvador, that is. Taking first, actually, but I don't think he'll last very long there. Yeah, definitely not. And um, so, uh, Bulls are red, though. Though he, I don't know, this stream's going to be big, though. If he wants to, like, you know, gets third still. Yeah, just super unfortunate there. And uh, yeah, I don't know uh, what to say about that. And uh, top two, I. Again, I think El Salvador is making this back, and that's a big race. The top two, six, seven, still not not too bad, and definitely going to minimize the gap here. So good job from a uh, good job from them. Wow. Yeah, I do believe that that shock happened after the line, so I think El Salvador was holding that. So that's great. Um, another great shock there for I believe it's Mary. Yeah, Mariella bagging. Um, uh, so that definitely helps out their chances at holding those top spots. And again, that brings the lead down to within single digits for Ecuador. I think they're still up, but not by nearly as much anymore. And as the score gets updated, yeah, just a plus five now for El Salvador after two winning races. Just shows how much of an impact these shocks can make and this bagging can make. Now going into... Uh, Rainbow Road 2 are a track we were supposed to see before we had that room reset. Getting another chance to see it here. Carlos needs to get back up to the front and hold it just like he was doing before. We have seen him plenty of races already. He is capable. He just needs to make that push to the front early with team support. We'll see if he can pull that off after this first set. Yeah, um, 
if it's for and this might be another DC again, by the way, and which is really unfortunate. But if you're Carlos, we actually might not even go back here. Actually, um, if you're Carlos, if this race decides to start, um, definitely want to play aggressive early on. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. it is not going to start. And um, just really unfortunate there, another DC. But um, we'll take care of it in no time. We'll be back racing in no time. But just so far, it's it's five points now. Five points between Ecuador and El Salvador. It is really close, and El Salvador definitely made this back in a pretty significant way. So really nice job just in general for El Salvador just to make that back just in general. So, yeah, good job. Really good job. Yeah, so the universe does not want us to play Armex Rainbow Road 2R as the cup will probably change by the time we can get this started again and we will move on. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not sure whatever the universe has against that track. Personally, that version, I mean, that track in general, I think is not one of the favorites of the community. Um, any version, but that version I think um, has the best potential for running out of all of them. I guess uh, normal and R are pretty similar in that regard, but um, yeah, just front running is very, very broken on that track, so really does come down to how that first set plays out, but we won't be seeing it. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure what's coming up next. We'll have to see when we load up again. But yeah. Yeah if, yeah, if you're El Salvador, just keep doing what you're doing. If you're Ecuador, try to make some sort of adjustment here because of the fact that it, I just think that they're just coming back. I don't know. They, they can't. I just don't. I just don't if they're if if Ecuador Ecuador wants to win this match, right? They can't let El Salvador coming back affect them. They need to think of something. Anything in this last half of the um of the thing. So just yeah, just keep that in mind. I'd say. Yeah, it's definitely still anyone's game. Um, even though like I, like it, it really is this Carlos factor here. 50 after 5 suddenly gets taken out two races in a row and El Salvador are winning races. It's along with the shock, obviously, as well as we saw El Salvador get two of those past few races. But Carlos really is that huge factor in the front for this team. And he needs to get back up there uh, in these upcoming races if they want to maintain this lead. And yeah, we are getting right back into it. This is... Paris, I believe, just normal Paris 3. And yeah, right off the bat, Ecuador has first. That's great. Uh, another early hit onto Carlos. He'll stay in fifth. Actually, it's a little bit close here with sixth place, but um, another early hit. And we've seen how these early hits on Carlos play out for El Salvador. Pulling two shrooms, though, he can recover pretty nicely. As, yeah, now Salvador, remember, gets hit out there. So he'll just take fourth right back. He has a shroom for that cut and a star in fourth. Oh my this goodness. is looking super good for him. He'll just, he'll, he can take first whenever he's, you know, whenever he sees fit here um, with this star. Second place red for El Salvador. He'll definitely call that out to his teammate in first. It looks like he has one protection at the very least. Is that a backspam attempt? I'm not sure if I agree with that backspam, uh, but he will get into a heart, which at the very least is what you want to see. Carlos following up with this heart, he'll be invincible for the rest of the race, even with this red shell. I think it actually broke, so yeah, he'll just be invincible for the rest of this race. Blue shell going to hit Hyper Ryo there. We'll help out El Salvador get second at the very least, 2-3. Oh, four. no, not quite. One three five for Ecuador. So there we go. Carlos back up in the front where he belongs and taking that first place and the winning race as well for Ecuador. Definitely what Ecuador needed, the response they needed there. Getting a one three five was huge. And it definitely put the momentum back in Ecuador's favor. And 
I think Eckler Cruz just did a really good job just finding a way just to get to the top and just basically just get the good spots there. So good job. Really good job from Ecuador there. Yep. Taking that momentum back. Super important. And yeah, I'm going to follow up on Waluigi Pinball, one of the best running tracks in the game. If Carlos is starting up front, there's almost no, like, based on what we've seen so far, he won't lose it. So we'll have to see where he starts. As again, positions are random every race. Um, all the players' positions are random, regardless of the positions of the previous race. So if he's starting up front, he almost certainly will keep it. And this track is just super, super great for front running. Actually starting in fifth. At the very least, he has a nice angle to take this first turn, and he could get a draft. Um, that would be my plan going into this track here, if I were Carlos. So we'll see what he opts to do. And Ecuador starting in first. Actually, he'll just take a better line. He'll just get into second right away. But oh no, he tries to change his settings and runs into that. Um, I forget what it's called. Is it like a flipper, I think, for a pinball machine? I don't remember the exact name. But uh, he'll run right into that and he'll drop down to six. That's a super unfortunate time to change your setting settings. And that brings him back down to sixth. El Salvador taking these top positions now. Nice pull for him, but uh, he'll have to rely on just chaining these items and getting back up quickly. As, again, oh my gosh, two stars for him. This is so strong. If El Salvador, or if Ecuador, I keep mixing up the names. They're very similar. If Ecuador can get that shock, they are in last by quite a margin, actually, based on that mini-map, so... I'll opt to chain one here, probably. See if he can get the start off onto Tanuki. I think he did. It looked like a hit. Great stuff there. It's a start that he needs. Bomb forward. That was a little bit risky with his teammate there. Oh, he's in a heart. That's probably why. Fair enough. And he'll actually get into 2-3 now for Ecuador. Oh, that's a nice horn from Blagmo. That's going to take out Carlos right back down to 6th. Taking care of Carlos. That's exactly what uh, El Salvador need to be doing, but they only have first now. Two, three, four. Last set for uh, the race. Oh, I actually think second place got took out. I think El Salvador is going to keep that first place, but it's still going to be a losing race as one, five, six, seven. I think it's still losing. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. Um, I think El um what do you call it? Ecuador getting two, three, four was huge there because the fact that that's going to help them out more than El Salvador and just getting small winning races is good for the moment. Cause all they have to do at this point is, uh, I'd say win the war. So as long as you win the war, um, that would definitely help them. And, uh, yeah, good job. Good job getting a two, three, four though. Good job. Yeah. Seventh, even for the bagger, that's going to help out quite a bit. And, and yeah, I mean, the first time we've seen uh, El Salvador actively go for these pack plays, specifically onto Carlos, that we as we saw him get out, uh, hit out twice, uh, very crucial. But not following up. Maybe their punish, uh, maybe their aggression was punished. As again, they only held first at the end, but at the very least, they kept that. So that was a, a good effort from that El Salvador member, but. Yeah, we are heading into the last GP. The difference, it's still very much in reach for El Salvador. It's plus 13 for Ecuador right now. Very doable. Three races left, but we're heading into Calamari Desert, and they're going to have to make it happen right away. Yeah, definitely. And um, it's probably going to just come down to who is in the front. And But one thing it's going to come down to is shock here, especially. So that's important to know. Yeah, Shock's super powerful as, again, there really is no shortcut on this track until the very end. And that is a key Shock spot if either team can get it. Oh, that bomb's just going to land just outside the track there. That would have been a great hit. 
two Ecuador members get taken out. That's already a star for El Salvador, opting to use it now. Not quite going to connect, but he has a red. And that red, is that going to... No, okay. Ecuador still surviving in second for the moment, but these are great spots for Ecuador if they can get uh, shrooms, but oh, he'll take a red from sixth. Star pole, though, that's huge. We do see Ecuador in last by quite a margin. He'll be touching another item set um, coming up in a few seconds, but yeah, there it is. He already had it. Ah. Great stuff. He'll dodge. Um, doesn't look like it helps out Ecuador's members that much, but yeah, he'll shroom up and take a nice third. Yeah, getting but one four five coming in from El Salvador. At least that'll do something. But at this point, they need to do a lot more in order to make this back. I think so. They have to make something up here, definitely. Yeah, I I think you know shock was intended to help out Carlos a little bit more, but I think, um, you know, that sixth place, 2-3-6, uh, is not a winning race. But that, I mean, that's a start for El Salvador to make this comeback. It's a, it's a narrow winning race, I think, plus three or plus five. And it is the start they need. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah, plus, gosh, I cannot do math. Hold on. Yeah, plus 11 right now. For Ecuador, so chipping away, but they need a bigger, bigger race here, and another strong running track. Um, for Ecuador, and we've seen Ecuador do so well on these running tracks. However, we do have. Oh no, we don't. It's the trick version. I was going to talk about those glider respawns. Do not have them. What's really misleading is that the track image that you, you see in the background right there as the screen is loading, uh, there's only one of those per track, so like the variants aren't accounted for. So it is the trick version, so it doesn't have those gliders as you see in the pictures. So it can be a little bit misleading. Um, yeah, no glider response here. So strictly going to rely on running to make uh, this front presence happen. Draft right away for Carlos. Super strong, and that's already a top three. Top three, sorry, for Ecuador. And in last two. Don't think El Salvador is going to get into last based on this bagging battle. Although, okay, one member taken out. That's a good start for El Salvador. They're going to need to do a little bit more, though. Okay, so gets into second and... Th okay, yep, another member taken out. Only one player left to get out of these top positions, and that is Carlos. We'll have to see what uh, this second place can do. One red coming out. Another protection now for Carlos. Barely holding on right now. Yeah, there goes that El or Ecuador member again. This is looking really good for El Salvador right now. They just need one red. One red right now. Or Sorry, two reds. Two reds to take him out right here. Ooh, bear that's great Ooh, reaction. I'm not avoiding that Nana. Oh, I don't think red. I would have avoided that. And there's oh, the red. No, he, did not. he, he has a shroom to recover. Red. Oh yeah, he has to drop. Oh, no, no, not at no. time. Oh no. That's first place for oh. backspam gonna hit the ramp. Not gonna hit him, but one, three, four. Wow. That's exactly the race they needed. This is coming down to the last race here, folks. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, what a race! What a red! One three four, that's big. That is big. Even though it's not necessarily a top three, that is going to bring the gap to a, a minimum amount of points and make it very much possible for El Salvador to make this back. I'm just impressed they were able to pull the reds they needed there to just get them out. So, good job from El Salvador. Just really good job. Wow. Yeah, and I believe a one... What was that one three four eight? I think that's a plus seven, maybe. So that's over. Yeah. So plus six. This is so doable right now. Four or plus seven. Math is so hard. So one race left here. This is so very doable, and this is a great track to do it. Donut Plains. 
This is very much in El Salvador's cards. They just need one race here to take this back from Ecuador, just like that. It's so possible for them. Again, this is going to rely not so much on running here, as this track is very much oriented on that catch-up potential with mushrooms and stars and megas and such. So we'll have to see how El Salvador plays this. This is coming down to the last race. This Not what I was expecting all at or all nothing after race. those first five. Yeah, definitely. And uh, just looking to see some solid play here from both sides. They want to win this war. And uh, for Ecuador to hold on, just get first. That's nice, all you need. Just nice green. First. Yeah, I do want to point out that's a, that looks like a nice snipe, but that is a forward respawn. So it actually doesn't lose any time. Pretty much doesn't lose any time at all to get hit there. So... That will put Carlos in first, but um, he is being pressured by 2-3, and that uh, those other positions could have shrooms to overtake at any point, opting to drop. I do like that play, but it's not going to be enough. And there's the double reds. That's exactly what El Salvador needs. However, Ecuador in last. They could make an impact with a shock if it's in play. And also, Ecuador can get catch-up items on this last set. It's This is so close. Oh Top three my! Right now, for El Salvador, they need Ecuador need to shroom up right now. No shrooms. Oh no! This is all going to come down to this corner. This is highway robbery right here, folks. On the oh wow. my! Did they no just response. do that? I think they just did that. I think El Salvador just won this war off an off a knock. Uh, getting the top three. That's going to make El Salvador win the war. So congrats to them. Wow, good stuff. Just in general, and uh, I'm just really, really, really stunned. And oh my goodness, how did they make that back in such a convincing way? Oh my goodness gracious. Congrats to El Salvador. They needed this win. They needed this win. If you're a UK fan, you are popping off. If you're an El Salvador fan, you are popping off. They just won this war by four points. Congratulations. A walk-off win on Donut Plains 2. Not something we've... I don't think we've seen that yet on this World Cup. That is one of... That's probably the biggest upset I think we've seen this entire event. That was absolutely so well played from El Salvador on that last race. Carlitos, you know, who's that? They don't need him. No captain required. They just walked it off on that last race. and. Again, like Ginja just said, if you're a UK fan, you are so relieved right now. They still are in the running here. And this this last match we have coming up is going to have such big implications still on who is going to move on in that second slot. But wow, I just can't believe we saw a walk-off on Donut Plains too. For El Salvador, what a great ending. One of the best upsets I've seen in a long time. Yeah, definitely. That was the greatest final race from El Salvador I could have possibly seen. That was really good. And, you know, honestly, just to see a walk-off win like that just is just so nice to see. And But good, good, um, really good attempt, though, from Ecuador. They played that really well, and uh, especially Carlos, but... It's just El Salvador. They came out of nowhere and they managed to win this war. My goodness! Wow, I'm just, I'm just really just stunned at this point. Even if, even if the, even if it just comes to the point where it's going to come down to this last match, and I just don't know. It's this the last match is going to be super important. I just, I really do not know what's necessarily going to happen. I really don't know at all. Definitely huge implications still for this group with this final match, USA-Ecuador. That is coming up next. Our final match, like I said, I think that's the last match of this whole group stage for the event. So going to all come down to that. I also think actually there's two matches going on. So we have the one we're casting right now, USA-Ecuador, and then Colombia-Brazil to wrap up. Uh, I believe that's group. Group. Is that can't remember off the top of my head which group that is. I think it's Group L. Um, 
to wrap up that group. But yeah, USA Ecuador coming up next. Uh, don't go anywhere. We will be taking a short break and we will be right back uh, with that match. Stay tuned, everyone. 